Welcome to today's product video series brought to you by G&G Hydraulics Corporation. In this video, we will be repairing a bottom mount type accumulator. The process of repairing or rebuilding is the same for most types of bottom mount accumulators. The first step in the repair is to remove the outer yellow cap protecting the inside valve stem and the air side of the accumulator. Next, you will be removing the valve stem cover and exposing the standard bike tire type valve. When disassembling the unit, you're going to want to bleed the air out of the valve to make sure that the bag is completely empty. After removing all the air from in the bladder, you can then unscrew the lock nut and positioning nut from the assembly. The lock nut you can back out with a wrench, followed by doing the same procedure, exposing just the bag with the valve stem on it. Once that is complete, we move to the other end of the accumulator. First, we take out the bleed plug on the poppet assembly. Then, using the appropriate spanner wrench, we take the tool and remove the lock ring that completely seals in the bottom half of the unit. After the lock ring is removed, the spacer is removed, the threads and seals are then exposed. After the seals are removed, you can go ahead and pop out the poppet assembly. The poppet assembly is held in place from pressure from the bag that's inside of the accumulator. That's why it's so critical that pressure be removed from the bag before pushing in on this part. Once you push in the poppet assembly, you need to reach in behind the poppet assembly and pull down the retaining ring. This ring divides in half and needs to be squeezed and then pulled out of the accumulator. After removing that, you can then pull out the poppet assembly, which slides right out of the accumulator now. The accumulator is now completely open on both ends, and it's just a process of removing the bag. There are a few tricks that we recommend using in order to help get the bag out easily. One is to go ahead and poke holes. Another option is to go ahead and cut off the valve stem on the other end of the accumulator. This will allow air to escape as you pull the bag from out of the bottom of the accumulator. Now you want to unpack and lay out the bladder kit. The bladder kit comes with both the bag along with some replacement o-rings that will be used during the reinstallation. When you pull the bag out of the bladder kit, it's dry. It's recommended that you take the media that you're using and coat the surface of the bag before putting back into the accumulator shell. For this, we're using a standard hydraulic oil and painting it onto the outside of the shell. Another item we recommend using is a set of pull rods that you would attach to the Schrader valve and pull through the end of the accumulator. The end of the rod will screw on to the bag. The rod can then be inserted into the accumulator shell and help to guide it through. Once the bag is reinserted into the accumulator, we can start the process of assembling the air side of the accumulator. First, we put on the warning cap, then the first positioning nut, followed by the lock nut. We then recap the valve and then put on the protective cap for the whole air side. You begin by oiling and inserting the spacer ring. The ring will then be pulled over once the poppet assembly is inserted. Once the two pieces are inside of the accumulator, you have to slide the retaining ring over the poppet assembly inside of the unit and then pull out of the bottom of the accumulator. Once the poppet assembly is pulled through, you repack the seals followed by the lock ring that holds in the oil side of the unit. and then using the special spanner wrench, tighten down completely. Once that is done, you could recap the bottom half. We now reinsert the bleed plug. Using one of the charging engaging assemblies that's available on our website, you can pre-charge and fully charge your accumulator. Please visit us online at ggHyd.com. There you can find most of the products talked about today by clicking shop online. We look forward to seeing you soon.